Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me Anand back again with a new video. So for this adventure, we decided to go to Cape Cod in Massachusetts. After a three hour car ride from Merrimack, New Hampshire, we made it to the adventure bound campground resort in Cape Cod. And we're staying for three nights with total $264. So we are finally at the campground and it's kind of late, it's already 9 p.m. in the evening. Um, so, we are so we are done setting up the first tent. We knew it early when we started, it will be late. So we don't have any plans for today except waiting for our friends to arrive. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to day two. I wake up all in the morning even though I was tired. Take a quick tour of the campsite. The campsite, everything was fine. The bathroom, the surroundings, everything was good except the camp location was little bit um, congested. After the quick tour of the campsite, I walked all the way up to the oldest and tallest lighthouse in Cape Cod, the Highline Lighthouse. This lighthouse was previously known as the Cape Cod Light and it's, it is an active lighthouse on the Cape Cod National Seashore in North Truro, Massachusetts. You see a very beautiful sunrise. So I think this is a, like a, one of the best places. You can come to this place and, and enjoy the sun, sunrise as well as the lighthouse. After spending about half an hour in Highline Lighthouse, I drove about 15 minutes which is around 15 miles from the campsite. The most famous lighthouse of Cape Cod, the Nosset Light. It is really a welcoming attraction for any any Massachusetts tourist. And when you you are in Nosset Lighthouse, don't forget to go to a Nosset Beach. So I spent some time in the Nosset Lighthouse and the Nosset Beach together. Enjoy some some glimpses or some videos of the Nosset Lighthouse. Beach, guys. Um, I came here all in the morning so that there will be no crowd and it will be easy to, you, to show you the beauty of this one. So let's check it out. So you are in Cape Cod, don't forget to visit the lighthouse of Nosset as well as the beach. Uh, both are equally uh, beautiful and, and great. So guys, close to Nosset Lighthouse, you have a three-sister lighthouse. Um, don't forget to visit this place. This is also a nice cool place to visit while you are in Cape Cod. First one, uh, second and the third. Sure. So it's time to go back to the campsite, have some lunch and then we'll explore the beaches, province town and lot lot more in the afternoon. How do we cook it? You press this mm -hmm. and then you put something close in Cape Cod. If you don't visit the beach then it's not worth it. So after lunch we decided to go to visit a beach. It was a warm sunny day, we really had a fun in the beach, um, the water was uh, hot enough. Of course, while you are in North Toro, Cape Cod, you have to make a stop at the Chick Chocolate. 
and they have this little cute little shop high tide where you can enjoy ice cream so so we are trying uh, we tried out the ice cream and some chocolate it was really really great mm -hmm. it's we really love the taste of the ice cream and, and the chocolate. Did you guys had fun doing the camping? Um, let me think. 50% yes, 50% no. Why? Oh uh, well, too much things, too much walking. Too much walking because all the beaches, right, you have to walk. Yes, and all the downhills and the uphills. Mm -hmm. The up, the, I mean the downhills are fun, and the uphills are not. The uphills are not. Day 3, we started from the Long Nook Beach. Since the Cape Cod has so many beaches, the feeling of going to the beach all in the morning is so great. So after Long Nook Beach, we went to the Marconi Beach. After visiting the Marconi Beach, we decided to go to the province town. This was the plan for the afternoon today. So we headed towards the Noon Beach, which is on the way to province town. So finally, we are here at Provincetown. Provincetown, also known as the P Town, is famous for a lot of things: the cultures, the city or the town itself. Every corner they have ice cream. So when you are there in Provincetown, don't forget to try out its ice cream at different stores, the historic monuments, and the town itself is great. It's vibrant. A uh, lot of colors, a lot of different paintings, peoples, and then there are beaches very near to it. And you can do any outdoor activities if you want to go for whale watching or any kind of outdoor water activities. So, guys, uh, I'm at the Rest Point Beach in Cape Cod. Uh, near the province town so actually I'm, I'm here like uh, after, after 5 p.m. Um, uh, it is one of the best beaches in province town see it clear when the shadows are lit I'm ready to go I'm taking matters into my own hands now let's face it we only got So, um, I am uh, heading towards the Herring Cove Beach, um, another beach at, at Cape Cod, uh, near to Provincetown. Um, um, the sunset view from here looks awesome. Bumps in the I mean, road, many obstacles. But when we fall, we get up and go, baby. The way they think is paradoxical. 
Captured you in a foggy cloud, baby Standing on my toes on the edge, I'm ready to go I see it clear in the shadows I let, I'm ready to go Perfect sunset. Uh, this is this is my first lifetime experience doing looking the sunset uh, on the ocean. Wow, it feels really, really, really great, mind blowing. So on the way back to our campsite at Notaro, we found a pizza grill, which is a really great, great place for ice cream and pizza try out this place they have really had a great homemade ice cream and pizza uh, we really loved it it's awesome and delicious put the food in the pie root so you'll have a different taste if you cook the food in pie root. So it's time to go back home. So we really had a great fun during our stay. We really had a blast in, in our camping. We went to visit uh, to different places, the beach, province town. The ice cream was great. So on the way back to home, we decided to go visit the Chatham Lighthouse, which is one of the places you should definitely visit while you're in Cape Cod. And after visiting this lighthouse, we plan to go check the Mayflower Beach, which is one of the best beaches in, in Cape Cod. Since the summer has already started, it's time to go visit the places, keep traveling. Hope you guys like this video. Please feel free to share, like and subscribe. Thank you again so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Uh, have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.